Hello everybody, welcome back to Everybody's Gone to the Rapture! Now, I have been thinking about this, and do I want to go and visit Jeremy or see what's down this lane? I'm going to go down this lane, because who knows what we'll find. What's this? Bike pump? And a bike. Okay, makes sense. This is like a... Oh, it's that style! It sounds like something's in the bushes. Right, I want to go investigate this house because it looks like it's got an infinity painted on the front door. And I'm hoping with the size of this game being that it is, uh, there'll be some stuff that I'll see this time that I've never seen before. So we're at 18 Yorton Road or whatever. Uh, it's locked. Somebody's been drawing uh, on the door. Let's uh, start that. Right, Jeremy is here. Oh, it sounds. Yep, there he is. Let's keep an eye on Jeremy. He's gone that way. Is there anything around here? He has to make a decision, oh. he? Especially now. But I do love him, Father. Father. I love him both. He's married. There are other people involved in this. Oh, I hardly think that anyone's in the position to claim the moral high ground, do you? Well, I take your point about Stephen. And Robert. But I, I think Kate might see things differently. Do you? I mean, she's not screwing anyone else, pardon my French, but she spends all day and night locked up in that observatory. Stephen says they barely see each other. That's hardly a marriage, is it? <clears throat> so that was Lizzie. Wee Lizzie, stay on the seat. I'll push you. Swing. Yay. Um, can we go into the shed? We'll go round the shed. That's a very stupid fence. Oh, wait. No, it's not. Whoa, look at it go now. He's loving life. Is this a Spade in. It's like half a job. Didn't put it away. There's bees. That's where the bees are then. Can we go in here? No. Another wheelbarrow. Stumpy wheelbarrow, that one. Oh. Telephone. Right, it's around the corner over there. Quick, leg it before it stops ringing. Oh, here it is, look. Visual and Dr. Wade distortions are becoming more frequent, along with mild convulsions to the left side. All of which support a preliminary diagnosis of intracranial hypertension, occurring as a result stick. of a substantial and rapidly expanding tumour originating, I believe, within the hypothalamus. Cognitive functions are currently unimpaired. <laughs> Aside from this crippling headache. What's he dog? Hemorrhaging is becoming more frequent, with darker clots passing through the nasal passages primarily. I believe I am dying. This is certainly not flu or anything else I have ever encountered. And certainly a tumor cannot expand this rapidly. In the blood clots, I see tiny flecks of what looks almost like, if I had to try and find a description, liquid light. I cannot explain this phenomenon. Oh dear. Right. Now, I've lost sight of Jeremy. I don't know. I'm guessing we go this way. Uh, 
Oh, it's the surgery. Influenza. Flu is highly contagious. Do not attempt to travel. Barbara? There's tissues everywhere. Bloody tissues. Oh dear, that's not good. I must have thought there was something very wrong. Can, can we go? Wait, here you are. There's a queue of patients a mile long out there. Just send them to the village hall with the others, please, Bob. Doctor, people are scared. Mrs. Gable just called me and said her husband's vanished. She was very frightened. She said there was blood coming up from his ears and his what nose. What the hell do you want me to do? Until they lift the quarantine, we're not going anywhere. Just tell them to drink plenty of fluids, stay warm, and follow the instructions on the radio. Doctor, Phil, please, you have a duty to your patient. Phil, wait. Uh, your nose. Uh-oh. Oh, even the computer got high-pitched then. Not my computer, the, this computer here. Same picture on them. Kate's still talking their numbers to now. Um, this is very reminiscent of um, the surgeries around where I grew up. Like li literally, I don't know why they call them surgeries because they don't perform surgery, but tiny little places with one. Well, this one looks like it's got one doctor. The ones that I'm thinking of had, I think, two or three, and a couple of receptionists. Yeah. So, whoa, that plan is spazzing out. Is it because I looked away? Nope. Very strange. Right. Your doctor's surgery. PH Phil and PhD M P H I L M Phil oh. Don't dial that number folks. Um yeah those plants spaz out as they pop in. Right. Oh look, this house is toilet to let. Shopping trolley. Tractor wheel Cement I think that's cement. Can't go in there. We might have already tried that. Um, so we can go up the hill or we can stay here. Let's stay here because this is where Steve. Stephen? This is where Jeremy uh, is, if that's what that blob of light it actually. Wow, what the hell? Benjamin, Georgie, leave it alone. It might have fleas. Hello, Amanda. What are they up to? Oh, they found another dead bird. I do wish the council would clean them up. Well, Birds don't have saying fleas. It's a flu epidemic. And I gather they'll be closing the roads and stations, so they're worried enough for that. Oh, I've not God seen this one before. Sake. Well, you don't mess about with the flu outbreak, I suppose. But look, I'm just saying, if you were planning on taking the kids to Wales, now might be the time to do it. Well, thanks, Barbara. I'll have a word with Neil, see what he thinks. Now, George, Benjamin, for God's sake, leave it alone! Oh, those are the kids. Those are the kids from the house. Leave it alone, Benjamin. Jesus Christ. Dog's looking at me like, what is he doing? Right, there's the swings. Can I go up the ladder? Yes! Uh. Up the slide, up the ladder. Up the I can't go the other way, though. Well, that's infuriating. Where did... Jeremy? Oh, he's gone up Robert Graves' auto repair. Oh no! Where are we going? We're going that way. Come on then, Jeremy! Alright, Jezza, mate. We missed the house there. Um, no, I, c I can't look at every house. Did he go into the... Graves auto repair? No, he went across the... Oh, I can hear a phone. Let's just go in here. But remembering that we've got a phone to listen to. Meg, come and have a look at this. Oh, I don't believe it. Charlie? Jeremy reckons someone had been raiding all the empty houses. He said a load of stuff had been taken. What's up? It looks like someone's been collecting their own supplies. Bastard. Well, we've got enough stock in the warehouse to keep the entire village going for months. We should get a truck. 
Well, and go and get all of it now. Yeah, why not? It's Appleton. It's that bloody crackpot, Stephen Appleton. I'm gonna fucking do him. Sam, it's fine. We better get moving before the Language, returns. Sam. You come in. We'll swing by the camp and get Rachel on the way back. Right, okay, so that's Sam and, uh, you can call him, uh, Charlie. There's old Charlie, Charlie Bucket. Right, there's a phone. Suspicious. <gasps> oh, the music's gone strange. Right oil, sold here. Premium motor oil. Right, okay, uh, we're gonna look for the, the radio. There's a radio over here somewhere. Oh, I'm missing my computer chair. I won't lie. Right, okay. It's definitely. Ah, it's in this caravan. It was just some distortion of physics. I may not understand it yet, but it wasn't an accident. All of the clocks, what happened at Tower 6, it's just not random. There's an effort. An attempt to communicate. Don't communicate! I heard another bang. This, there might be someone in the house. Whoa. I'm getting distortions. It's got to be in this house. It has to be. But I can't... I heard that. I can't find a way into the house. Is it the next Oh, it might be the next house. It might be this house. We're definitely getting distortions though. We should investigate. Oh, yep, yep. Something's happening. Oh yes, 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 yes. I saw you from the main road. Not many people are moving around now. I was looking for Dr. Wade. Listen, Frank. I don't know what's happened, but your Stephen seems to think he's responsible. <sighs> I reckon he is. He said uh, Frank Appleton's house. Kate's still up at the observatory, but the gates are locked. Look, Frank. There's going to be a rescue soon, I'm sure of it. They'll send planes or something. Well, they'll send planes, all right. But this pattern of his, we're in the center of it. Which means if they intend to stop it, we're right in the firing line. Oh, dear. All right. Let's check out upstairs. Very dark in this house. Oh, there we go, saving. Oh, okay. One, 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 four. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's one of those ho horrible olive green bathroom suites that you we used to have one of those. I remember they chipped the enamel. Somebody chipped the enamel. And we painted over it with some uh, enamel paint, which was nowhere near the right colour. And that bothered me for years. Can't open that door. Right, where is Jeremy? I feel like we're... Yeah, I know, that's that phone that I set off. It's annoyingly. Well, I got a vibrate then on my controller. I don't know why. So does turning the phones on do anything? That's a painting that this person was doing of the house, I believe. Yeah. Nice picture. Very nice. There's a lot of birds here. I can hear them all. I don't know if it's uh, a, a mirage of birds. Can we open here? Nope. <laughs> we're uh, we're sort of boxed in, I guess, on that side. 
I guess we will continue up the road because I can't see Jeremy. Oh, he's down there again. Jeremy! Right, okay, we're just going to follow you now, Jezza. You lead the way. I think that's what I'm going to do going forward because we're already three episodes in and it's like the first episode, if you follow my meaning. So, let's just follow him. And that's what we'll do from now on, is that we'll follow the, the lights as much as possible. We've seen some nice new scenes, it's been great, but... Oh. Is everything alright? Get out of the way. Where's Kate? Where do you think she is? Stephen, what's going on? Screw Kate. It's all her fault anyway. What's that mark on your face? Stephen! Steven! What is that mark on your face? Oh, off, off you went. Jeremy! Behave! Okay, he wants us to go... Where does he want us to go? Ah, I'm gonna have to stop here. Steven's not being such an ass. Oh, we need to go up that way. Okay. Thank you very much for watching me play Everyone's Gone to the Rapture. If you've enjoyed the episode, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye!